everyone you're welcome again to my channel if you are new here you're welcome quick introduction my name is Afolake and this is Focus Den on this channel we just share information that helps immigrants settle easily in a new land from mistakes to avoid from opportunities from you know where to get things on a budget how to integrate properly and so many things that really bother immigrants when they move abroad so we talk about all these things and today's video is no different so if this sounds like what you want to keep watching consider subscribing because you're going to gain a lot from this channel on today's vlog i will be sharing with you a budget store where you can get things at a very good price some are actually new and a bit of them are pre-owned i tell it and I don't think I brought this story away before. So because I went shopping, I was just thinking, why don't I share this information as usual so that it can benefit you. If you need anything from this store, you can always look around. So on this video, I'm just laying out all the things I bought on a grocery shopping day. I know I've shared videos whereby you see me shop, take you to other stores. But I've not actually shown you what I shop. So that you see what I shop against what I spend. So I'm asking myself, is this worth the spend? These are regular things that we buy. These are basic things that we shop in the stores. And the prices keep skyrocketing every day. Inflation is rife everywhere. So it's not about even a particular country. It is general. And things are just expensive. From food from clothing, from gas, even from the bills that you pay. You just wonder, sometimes you receive your bills and you're wondering, did I use this power or this kilowatt of power that I'm being built this way? So there's just questions, questions that are begging for answers. But I don't know if we'll get answers, but we have to eat. As I share with you on this video, just look at the things that I bought and we'll talk about the costs at the end of this video. So that will help me, please, I need help to be able to decide, is this worth it? I'm not going to pick something that my hand cannot reach. This is basic food and we're a family of four. Plus some extra people that always come around my house. So we shop for them too, you know, so that we we'll always have enough to share. But these are basic grocery items. Nothing, nothing beyond this. Let's determine whether this is worth it. Uh, buy or we need to start crying or run to the doorstep of the government and say we need help we can't be spending this and as these prices skyrocket every day all what do we do we keep hunting for better jobs to be able to cushion this effect but the government needs to help us out and make costs of food and other amenities easily accessible for us at a very good rate inflation is right everything is gone up even to interest rates, everything. Where are we going? It's crazy, guys. If you don't take particular attention to looking at the individual prices, you might be amazed. Because sometimes you find a particular price on the till. At the end of the day, when you check it on your receipt, it's not the same. You probably will find this out when you're buying very, very few items. But if you're doing bulk purchase like I just did, you can't be picky and be looking at each price or you can't be putting them on paper as you see them on the aisle and then checking at the till if that's how much you've been charged but these prices are expensive they are beyond rich for people right now and the government needs to help us so i went to the real canadian superstore as usual because that's my go-to store for shopping on a budget so you can look at the things i bought all these items basic things most of the time we go shopping twice in a month like every fortnight and then we buy all of these things some are repeat purchases, some are stock up some you know you probably don't buy until another one month it depends on you know how we use them but there's a Typical budget that is spent on a cycle when I go grocery shopping. And guys, the cost of things are really expensive. When you're buying food in the store, this inflation is real time, guys. It is real time. And that's why one video that I did, I mentioned 
you know budgeting i mentioned that you need to draw a list you need to have a list so i use notion i've mentioned that before i'm going to link the video that i talked about it on this um, vlog so that you can see how you can also track your grocery lists and your expenses then you can always put it on an excel and begin to see is it really needful these expenses are the things that i need or are they things that i'm wasting money on because if you don't put these things to paper you will not understand because you will just be spending and you just see that you're out of funds but if you have them written out you know what the cost of buying grocery or buying gas or paying for even your regular bills that you do monthly what it takes off your uh, income in a month that helps you decide whether you are actually spending more or you're spending less or maybe you have to go and look for another job to be able to supplement that income that is not enough to be able to cater for your household things are expensive these days we have to eat but what do we do so let's do this quickly and then we we'll go on that trip to the bianca liquidation store where we can see different items there then i'll talk about that as soon as i get on that video so enjoy this vlog see you shortly Welcome to Bianca Liquidation Store. I, like I mentioned, I went shopping and there's a project we're working on and needed some items for the house. And I just drove into this store and thought, why not vlog? So this is Bianca, is in the north of Saskatoon. You can buy household items from this store. Prices are quite affordable, pretty cheap. You know, I just complained and ranted about the cost of grocery, but here it looks so cheap and cheerful. You can get all those items from, of course, mats to your blinds to your rugs. Un unbelievable. I got a rug for about $40. That's before tax. And that's a new rug. So you get new items from here. Entrance mats. I went ready with my measuring tape to be able to fit to size whatever I was looking for. Got a lot of things from here at a very very reasonable and affordable price so you can visit this store i'll let you enjoy the vlog take a tour with me as i go around and see what you've got try and visit and stay on budget so that at least cost of food will not eat all your money away so enjoy the vlog and i'll catch you on my next vlog bye